If you're looking for a legit way to make extra money fast, the Amazon Influencer Program is the best way to do so. And on this channel, I don't just talk about things, I actually show you proof. So let's jump into it. What's up everyone, it's been about a month since I've been on here and we are back to do a review for the Amazon Influencer Program, my earnings for the month of May. And we're also going to break down a myth or two that I hear with this. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to show you yet another way to make money within this program. The last video that we did for April, April was our biggest month so far this year. So will it turn out in May? We're about to find out. But if you're brand new to the program or you're thinking about getting in, as always, I have a free beginner guide in the description below, completely free. That'll tell you how to get in and just some little tips and tricks, stuff like that. So you can get that below. Let's jump right into May's numbers. So we're back to my chart that I show breaking down 2024. You can see all of my previous month's numbers here. And as you can see for April, we had our best month of the year so far, $575. It was just slightly higher than the month before. And we had extra $190 worth of payments and eight free products that we got to do uh, videos for. Best month so far of this year, and that is the best month since I've been in the program outside of November, December, obviously Christmas shopping. So now for May, let's jump right into those numbers. You have 31 days in May, so we had an extra day compared to April. And if you've paid attention to my videos in the past, a big problem that I have is I don't do nearly enough videos. I know how to scale this program and make it a lot of money, but I seem to just be lazy and not do uh, enough videos. And not only was this month not any different, but it's actually, I think, my worst month since I've been in the program. So um, right here for May, we had four videos. I almost just didn't even want to show you all this because of how embarrassing that is. Uh, I was embarrassed by March when I did five. There's literally no reason for me to do four videos. I just, I mean, that's basically zero. Um, so that's, that's on me. You can get on me in the comments. It's just ridiculous and pathetic on my part for you specifically, you could have a goal of one a day. That would be super easy and attainable. That would be 30 a month, which is, as you can see at any time in 2024, I haven't done 30 in a month. So that's on me. That brings my total videos up in the program to 142. Not too bad. Don't be some of these people that I see in these Facebook groups that are like, I've been in the program for two weeks and I have 300 videos. You're, you're making terrible videos. I would almost guarantee you're making terrible videos and that is not the way to make money in this program. I will make more money with 100 videos than some people will with 500 videos because they're just throwing them out there. So focus on quality. So with 142 videos um, in the month of May, I got around 2,375 clicks. So a um, whole lot of clicks. That's the highest this year other than April, but compared to April, it is lower. That's a negative. We don't want our clicks to go down. You want clicks month over month to keep going up. And that means less people clicked on my videos, um, or I just had less videos being shown to people. Uh, that could also be a possibility there. And if you like the information you're getting so far, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Luckily, we didn't have a correlation between clicks and videos because my 2,375 clicks led to 315 sales. What does this mean? So uh, less clicks, not good, but the sales went up by over 50 from the people that clicked on the video to the ones that made a purchase that conversion percentage is higher, which is really good. And when your conversion number is higher, that means that you're doing a better job of explaining that product to the person to help them make a purchase. So 315 sales, that's good. And then revenue, which is uh, just essentially the number of sales times whatever the product's value was. That is not how much I make. That went from 25,000 in April up to 29,700 ish in the month of May. So that's also a very positive sign. So we had about 55 more sales and uh, almost $5,000 more in revenue. So that's good. And then the number that everyone cares about is monthly earnings. We had started off the year at 290. 
and then went a big jump up to 450. 575 in March. These are rounded off numbers, but basically 575 in April, a little bit higher. And then the month of May, even though I only had four videos, we had with less clicks, $735 in commissions just from the influencer side. I mean, like I said before, that knocks out a large bill that you have. So even if you just do this part time and can make an extra $735, that takes a huge stress out of your life by being able to pay off, you know, your part of your rent or your car bill or insurance or phone or something. I didn't put much effort into this program at all and made $735 this past month. So this also breaks a myth that goes around that I see people put in these groups. A lot of people, Amazon doesn't do a really good job of giving you good details of what to do to equal this or, or like why you get these results versus these results. And so a lot of people just like to make things up. And one of the myths that go around is, oh, I haven't been posting a lot of videos. And so Amazon isn't, sh isn't putting my videos onto the product pages, which is why my commissions are way down. And if, and if you're someone that, that steadily puts videos out, then they'll favor you more and put yours out there more and you'll make more money. That's clearly not true because I was terrible this month, but I've also been terrible uh, all the months before that. And my earnings continue to increase. And the reason for that is, is because every single video I make, even if I only make a few, is high quality. I'm having clear audio. I'm having good lighting. My filming area is clean and I'm doing a good job of explaining the product and showing the features and stuff like that. That is what matters, not the amount of videos you're putting out and how fast you're pumping them out and stuff like that. If you're putting out low quality videos, Amazon's not going to push you because they want the consumer to make a purchase. And if you're recording somewhere in a, in a dirty area, your audio is terrible, your lighting's terrible, you're just reading off the product page, that doesn't help a consumer make a purchase, so Amazon's not gonna push that. Plain and simple, off my soapbox. And then a category that I uh, added recently that I really like to show that helps give you a better breakdown as a, as a per day thing. We had $19.17 uh, last month per day. And then even though we had one more day in May, the average still went up. So almost $24 a day in earnings for just the influencer side. Now moving on to the affiliate side. Uh, so this was better this month. So as you can see, it's normally terrible. I've explained to you before how you can increase this number. I just don't ever put any effort into it, but that is essentially driving traffic from off of Amazon onto Amazon to make a purchase. The commissions are higher when you do so versus when they're already on Amazon to make a purchase. So um, I haven't made more than a, a few dollars on that side but this time was different. So for May, I made $53 on the affiliate side. So that is a lot better, and that is actually from two different things. Um, roughly, well, actually that number's not even correct, but roughly $30 of this was from regular affiliate side. So I had someone from YouTube or wherever click and go over to Amazon, make a purchase. The rest of it, is from another way that you can make money on this program that I haven't explained to you yet and I will tell you at the end. That's what I was talking about. I'm gonna tell you at the end how I got that extra 30 or so dollars. So stick around for that. If we add up uh, previous year to date and then add it to the, the earnings uh, for the influencer side and the affiliate side, that takes us to uh, almost $2,700 for the year. And that doesn't include any kind of uh, partnership payouts. So um, through five months, just under $2,700, who would not want an extra $2,700, you know, for doing something so simple. I keep preaching this. I hope you're listening and doing this and getting the beginner guide so you can get started. Let's move on to the partnerships. Obviously, if I only did four videos this past month, that means I didn't have, not only I didn't review my own products, but I also didn't have a whole lot of partnerships, but I still made uh, about $67 in partnership payments and then had one uh, free product come in. Still not bad at all. 
So adding just the several categories here, 735 for earnings, about 60 in the affiliate side, you know, we're close to 800 and then another 67 ish for uh, the partnerships, you know, we're getting close to $900 extra in my pocket for doing this super easy program. So get in, but that's looking at the chart and let's go ahead and jump into my bonus tip for this month. So at the end of these videos, I like to give a bonus tip for the month. And like I told you early on in the video that this month, I'm going to tell you about another stream of income that you can make within this program. And that is the creator rewards. Now you don't get to just do this. This is something that Amazon will, will choose if they decide they want to have you do this for that month or whatever. So it's not like an all the time thing, but it is an additional form of income that is essentially just a bonus for you. And what it is, is, and the amounts are different for everybody. If you drive in a certain amount of revenue for the affiliate side, that means from off of Amazon to Amazon, if you hit these goals, then you'll get a reward at the end of the month. I just wanted to explain that additional income stream because there's so many different ways to make money in this program. So it's something that you need to be aware of when you get in, you can be on the lookout for it is creator rewards. And that's all I have for today. So like I said, if you're thinking about getting into the program or you've just gotten in, there's a free beginner guide in the description below. Don't forget to check that out. And then as always, if you like these videos and you want me to continue making them, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to help the channel grow and make it worth my time to even do these videos. So as always, I greatly appreciate y'all giving me your time and attention. Thank you for watching and I will see y'all next time.